Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Friday, May 27, 2016. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, so this is the final trading day before the long holiday weekend in the United States. This coming Monday will be Memorial Day, and this is pretty much the start of the summer drive-in season and uh, the start of the summer as far as Wall Street is concerned. So a lot of traders will be out today. A lot of traders will already be at their beach destination. And again, uh, we'll look at this market with... Uh, with very, very light volume today. So just expect that. Uh, we should see very, very light volume. Uh, yesterday was the lightest volume day of the year. Today should be more of the same. But as we look at the market, we do see the S&P 500 E-mini futures trading higher by two points to 20, 91 and three quarters per contract. Again, uh, we do expect really probably more sideways to upward movement, I would think. Now, the wild card here is Janet Yellen will be speaking today at 1.15 p.m. We'll see if her statements move the markets up or down. She does hold that kind of power. Uh, so we'll see what comes out of it. I have no idea what she's going to say today. Uh, the Fed recently has been very, very hawkish, meaning uh, they've been talking like they're going to raise rates. So we'll see if she comes out with more of the same. I'm really not sure what she will say or do ahead of uh, her meeting at 115 today. But that is the wild card. All right, but there's plenty of stocks in the news. Let's take a look at the first one. Palo Alto Networks, P-A-N-W, cybersecurity right here. Stock is trading $132.64. It closed at $148.18. This stock is getting slammed this morning. Um, the only level I'm seeing right now is around a pierce of 125. So there's really not a whole lot to do here. And, and to be honest, you even got to be careful at that level. So I think traders would want to keep... Um, the 121 level on the radar as well. So Palo Alto getting hammered today. We'll see if it does fall lower into those support levels. Not much I'm looking to do, but we will keep it on the radar this morning. Let's take a look at uh, FireEye, F-E-Y-E. -E. This is going to be down in sympathy. Stock closed at $15.76. It's trading at $15.41. Again, this stock is trading down in sympathy to Palo Alto networks let's take a look at good old gamestop gme is the ticker symbol here uh the stock closed at 29 dollars 98 trading at 28 dollars 4 so this is a pretty good little decline i am seeing some support around 26.50 keep that on the radar today if it does get down to that level so 26.50 would be a level that i would be watching for support and these are all intraday levels given this morning let's take a look at deckers outdoor d-e-c-k is the ticker symbol there stock is trading at 48.18 closed at 49.25 so again um, not a big decline you did see after the closing bell it did trade all the way down towards a $45 level but it has recouped and now trading really at 48.18 so we're going to keep an eye on this one once the opening bell rings we'll see where it goes not much we want to do with it ahead of the open. Let's take a look at ULTA, which is Ulta Salon. And what you're going to see here is that this stock is making new all-time highs. Closed at $213.69 yes, uh, $213 yesterday. It is now trading at $232 this morning. So really, really, it's a big pop, new all-time high. Stock is very overbought, very extended. I wouldn't short it. Um, just simply because it's, it's very often a stock that doesn't trade a million shares a day. So it can go higher than most people expect, but I would not be a buyer up here. Okay, so if you own it, congratulations. Try your stop loss. If you don't own it, leave it alone. Let's take a look here at Splunk. S-P-L-K is the ticker symbol. Stock right now is trading at $52.97. Closed at $54.93. It was much, much lower, down to 50 bucks. In the after hours yesterday but it has rebounded back up so we'll see where this one goes um, again I'm not sure how it's gonna play out today but um, this is another one that you could look at once the opening bell rings this morning let's take a look at big lots they report in earnings as well stock right now is trading at fifty dollars and seventy seven cents closed at forty four dollars and sixty six cents so this is a great move for big lots again getting overbought getting extended if you own it, try your stop loss. If you do not own it, do not pick it up here. Um, we have one takeover that I'm seeing right now. FEI is being bought out by uh, Thermo Fisher. And um, that is a pretty, I think it's going to be a pretty good move. So let me just see the stock here. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything at the moment. 
but this is being bought out today from what I seen on my wire here so keep that on the radar you do not want that today um, it looks like FEI is being bought out by Thermo Fisher Scientific and they acquired the company for $107.50 a share so let me just see if this is the right symbol F E I C there we go so FEI company FEIC is a ticker look at that so again if you own that congratulations if you don't own it there's nothing to do here uh, you can take a look at TMO this morning you're gonna see that that is trading at $152.25 generally the acquiring company will not have much upside and that is TMO so FEIC is the big mover here and if you own it just try your stop loss or take your money off the table choice is yours gold this morning is trading uh, higher by three dollars and twenty cents so if you take a look at the GLD that is getting a little bit of an uptick not much but it is trading up a little bit and then crude oil is trading lower this morning by 34 cents to forty nine dollars and thirteen cents a barrel and that is on the July contract take a look at the USO which is a good oil ETF you'll see that is trading at around eleven dollars and ninety cents this morning so that's what we're seeing that's what we're looking at Volume trends will probably be okay for the first hour. Maybe the first 90 minutes after that, volume should get very, very light. Remember what I said earlier, 115 is Janet Yellen speaking today. She is the chairwoman of the most powerful central bank in the world called the Federal Reserve. So again, she will be speaking at 115 p.m. And uh, with her comments being made, it could move markets, it could move gold, it could move currency. So just be aware um, she does hold a lot of power with her voice. With that being said, everybody, I want to wish you all a great Memorial Day weekend. God bless. Have a safe one. We will see you on the charts.